Hello everyone! Today, we are going to configure group policy management for our redirection folder. What is group policy? When you say group policy, it contains settings that can be configured to control what's happening with users and computers. Before to configure the group policy management or group policies for the folders, let us create first user folder for our client. So to start, let us click on start, then choose administrative tools and look for active directory users and computers. Here, let us look for our forest root domain we used before css.edu. Right click on this and click new. Then choose organizational unit. When we say organizational unit, it is a container that holds active directory object like user accounts, computer accounts, and groups. It also helps to keep our objects organized but also are used to control what users can and cannot do among the other group. We are going to use our redirection folders name which is department. So that will be our container. Click OK. And in the department organizational unit, let us create user name. So right click on this and click new then choose user for example accounting so let accounting be our first and full names so for user log on name we will be using also accounting then next and for the password again our password must have eight characters combination of upper and lower case symbols and numbers let us confirm our password And uncheck user must change password at next logon on and choose user cannot change password and password never expires. Please remember these two settings for our password so that for the next time that we are going to log in in our computer, password will not be changed by any other users. Let us click next and finish. So we are now done with creating our organizational unit. Let us click on start. Then let us choose administrative tools. Then look for group policy management here in our group policy management window at the left pane let us expand at the forest and expand again the domains and let us look for the forest root domain that we used before so we have css.edu right click on it and choose create a gpo in this domain and link it here so for our group policy object we are going to use our redirection folders name which is department this department redirection folder was already created in our local drive e so let us click OK. 
Now, let us expand this CSS.edu and look for our created organizational unit. Let us right-click on it and choose Edit. Now, we are in our Group Policy Management Editor window. So, let us proceed to Policies under User Configuration. Let us expand it. And let us proceed to Windows Setting. And then, expand it. Now, for our folder redirection, these are the folders that we are going to link to our Windows Server. These folders are intended for our client computer. For this, I'm just going to configure desktop, meaning all the files that will be saved will be mirrored in our Windows Server. And these files will be located in our department redirection folder. Right click on the desktop and click properties. In our target tab, let us change the setting. So click here and choose basic redirect everyone's folder to the same location. After that, let us click Apply, then click Yes, and click on OK button. For this, we are just going to apply those settings on desktop only. But if you wish to have access on these folders, you may repeat the steps. Let us update the changes that we had made here. To do that, let us press Windows and R keys on the keyboard. A run dialog box will be appearing on the screen. Let us type this command, gpupdate.exe. And then, click on OK or press Enter key. User policy update has completed successfully. So with that, we are sure that our connection will be a successful one. So those are the steps on how to create organizational unit and configuring our group policy and at the same time updating the changes that we had made.